What's up, folk? So, I took a week off from the YouTube video makings because, frankly, video editing takes a long time. Yes, I shaved a little bit. So, we've been working on my mama's cabin. Uh, pretty heavy, pretty hard. And I didn't want to have to stop and take time to explain the steps, that type of stuff. But what I do got to do is I got to lock down the eggs that are from 327, which are these guys right here. Now you'll notice those are not quail eggs. So it's pheasant. Pheasants are breeding. They're in full swing. So I got to candle these eggs, put them in my little foamy incubator to lock them down, and we'll... Uh, we get that going. So I'm going to turn off the overhead light so it's a little bit dimmer in here and set you guys down a minute and we're going to candle these eggs together. Hang with me. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm going to turn the lights out. Now these eggs are still pretty dirty. See that one? That one's got a kid in it. Pheasant eggs are way easier to candle. You see moving right there? Pheasants are way easier to candle than quail are. That one's got a good kid in it. And really good on this side. Ooh, that one's moving real good. Look at that. See him twitching? He'll be hatching any day. That's a good one. That one looks good. He's moving around. See this one, this one might be questionable. There's still a lot of yellow in there. But we'll go ahead and let it set in the in the hatcher for a little bit. That one's good. That one's good. got a lot of kid moving around in it. See how it's got that line right there? That's a good kid right there. That's beautiful. There's another one that's twitching around and moving around and such. And these are looking really promising. Oh, see how that one pretty clear all the way down oh there might be a kid in there we'll let that one go see if it'll hatch that one's beautiful good oh that one's bad that's not a good egg That one's got a kid in it. You see him right there. See him wiggling around and stuff. Get you closer to the camera, so. There's your good movement. Pheasant eggs are way easier to candle. Good. Oh, that one's not good. See how it's fairly clear the whole way down. Yeah, that one's not good. So you got to be careful. The ones that are not good can explode in your incubator if you're not careful with them. I'll let that one ride. I'll definitely let that one ride. There's a kid on that side right there. He's not moving around though. That one's bad. That one's good. That one's good. He's moving around right in there. That one's 
good. That's, that one's bad. Good. See there? That baby right there. So far, we got a pretty good fertility rate. I'm liking that. We got a pretty high ratio of boys to girls up there in the pheasant pen, though. That one's got a bright hole in that bright spot. I think that egg is probably bad. Yeah, I think that one's bad. So this one, see this line right there? It may not be a crack, but I'm thinking that that one, I gotta put it down under here where I can see it. It's pretty thick shelled. I think that one's shot. That one's good. Okay, so we got this giant egg. And that giant egg did not grow anything. So I'm guessing this egg was a double yolk or look at the size of that thing. And because it's a double yolk, it probably didn't develop very well, but there's there's good movement in this one. Seem right there. Good movement in that one. I think it's amazing that you can see the chick move. See, that one's no good. That one's no good. See this, this line right here? That's probably just an external or an internal crack that's not through the shell outside. That's a membrane release. There's a kid pulsing in that one. Watch right there. See that? <laughs> Little twitchies. That one's shot. Oh, there's another in internal membrane release I don't think that one's good it might be no nope. it's got an internal membrane release across the bottom that one's got a crack in the top see that so that one's no good either. All right, I'm going to turn the lights back on. Okay, so sorry about the wiggle. So out of that mess, we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen that were bad, and this whole rest of this flat is good. So I'm going to get them in my little foamy hatcher and we're going to get this hammered out like share subscribe sorry i took a week off and didn't take you guys with me but it is what it is uh and we look forward to talking with you again